All right, Pop, welcome to O'Hare Airport in Chicago. And they still have Christmas trees up. They're for different countries. This one here is the Swedish Christmas tree. I'm uh, landed in Terminal 2. And this is the walkway to Terminal 1. So you can go with me. We're going to Terminal 1, Concourse C. And I've got more than two hours to kill here. So, plenty of time. See that sun out there? It is a lie. It is freezing cold out. I felt it when they opened the door. Absolutely freezing. They've got the heat on, so that's good. Uh, good flight from Charleston. Nice, big, spacious Airbus plane. The Wi-Fi didn't work, though, so I had to suck it up. I downloaded some music. So, all right. Getting near my gates. Uh, terminal 5. Thank God I'm not going out of there. That's the international terminal. And it's under construction. These are the B gates. And I have Concourse C this way. I'm getting my steps in. I'm getting my steps in. Yep. Look at the roof. The hallway here, you always know when you're at O'Hare. All the local stores. You know. Garrett's popcorn, nuts on Clark. For information or assistance, please go to airport information desks located throughout the terminals. Information desks are located in pre security in each terminal. This is the regular United Club. That's for the, uh, the peasants. I'm headed to the business class lounge. Oh. It's a long walk. Long walk here. Wolfgang Puck. Ah, I've eaten it this many times. Jamba juice. Tempted to go in there. They have really good hot oatmeal but I can eat for free in the lounge coming up here, so. <clears throat> TSA is the uh, cannabis amnesty box. I gotta pace myself because there'll be food in this lounge. They're gonna also feed us on the airplane. And then there will be food in San Francisco. There's Santa Claus. So I don't want to eat 10,000 calories today. Oh well, yes. It's still here. The 
uh, they have in the uh, here in the B concourse in Terminal One. They have the uh, dinosaur skeleton. That's always cool. Always. And we're going to hang it left and we're going to do the underground walkway over to the B concourse. And, uh, I'm being strong. I'm not going to any of these Starbucks. I don't need any caffeine. I had a coffee in Charleston. That's all I get. Too much. Too much is no good. Alright, here we go. Just right underneath the ramp. Right underneath the tarmac. Making our way to the sea gates, past the Pepsi machine, where everything cost a million dollars. And I will get on the moving sidewalks, speed things up here. Very cool down through here. Happy, go ahead. There we go. So we walk all the way down to the end of this moving sidewalk. And then there'll be escalators that'll take us up to the C concourse. Where I will find the business class lounge. And one of my co-workers is over there. Pick her up and take her to San Francisco. Very, uh, very nice to be just taking a U.S. airline all the way to Manila. No... No messing about in another country. No transit, just straight shot. Now we just need that straight shot from Charleston. We need some airline to start up the, the Charleston to Manila route. Better yet, my own private jet. That's what I need. Just, and it needs to be, the jet needs to take off from that airport in Monk's Corner. That way, everybody can just come out and see me off. And then it goes from there all the way to Manila. No airports, no luggage, put everything on the plane. The moving walkway is now ending. There we are.
flight is at C10. But where, where are the lounge at? United Club. I don't want the United Club. Alright, I'm gonna have to end this and see where I'm going. Catch you back in a minute. Alright, San Francisco. So they have different kind of dried mangoes. They've got the Philippine brand, the Cebu dried pineapple. They got the house brand. I think this uh, Cebu brand, I think these are the, the ones I always see people. So I'll have to see if I can get some of those for you. Hello everyone, I'm here in Manila at the Starbucks across the street from the hotel and I've got my espresso and uh, my fruit cup and my egg sandwich and uh, it is 1.42 in the afternoon. And my hotel's across the street from here. And I uh, love you and miss you all. Hello, good afternoon. Greetings from the Starbucks. Um, I'm here on San Miguel Avenue next to the Richmond. And I'm having a coffee before I have to go to work. Hope you're doing well. Hey Pop, how are y'all doing? I am back in the mall, same one that I was in before when I was here in September, and I'm up on the fifth floor here, and uh, this mall has two buildings. This is called the main wing, and I'm going to go to the grocery store that is in the basement but to do that i need to get down there and see i can yeah i'll walk all the way over here to do it so uh, walk over here and cut through these restaurants Get over to that escalator. Um, there is an elevator over there, but I can walk. I need to, my battery's running low on this phone. So I'm gonna, not gonna make this video too long, but up on the sixth floor, they have a Texas Roadhouse, and it's not very good. It is not good. Nice people. Oh, here, I'll get these escalators right here. This is 
I got a bunch of escalators. I can go down this way. I had all kinds of plans and things to do today, but I stayed up too late and woke up too late. And then I just decided to go to the mall. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do some things around Manila. There's a, a cemetery run by the US government, a World War II cemetery. I went there before in uh, 2020, I think, right before the pandemic. But um, I'd like to go back again. So I'm going to check that out. Might try out some new coffee shops tomorrow. Maybe get a massage. They have a thing in the hotel, like a spa. So I might do that. But just not trying to do too much. Traffic is always bad around Manila. So, so that's okay. More videos coming soon. Love you and miss you guys. Hey, Pop. It was good to talk to you yesterday. I am in the mall. Um, this is called the SM Mega Mall. One of the largest malls in the Philippines. I came to this one because it's open until 10 o'clock at night. It's 9.45 right now. So they have a, uh, right over there, a health food store where I can get healthy stuff to eat and there's a closer mall to my hotel but I messed up and waited too late I didn't realize it closed at 9 so I grabbed a taxi over here and uh, now I'm uh, headed back to the hotel because I have to work at midnight. So that is, that's what we're doing. Good evening, sir. So um, it's a huge mall. It really is enormous. It wasn't, wasn't really what I wanted to do, but if I didn't do this, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't have my, my, my healthy snacks for work. And I have to do five overnight shifts in a row. So late overnights too, midnight to nine. So we're gonna need coffee protein bars and everything else to get through that so um, that's what I'm doing let's see here now we're going down the escalator This, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry it's so cold back at home. That's crazy. It is, uh, the same as here, as usual. And, uh, so Krispy Kreme. All right. So this is the exit. So I'm gonna get a car back to the hotel and I'll talk to you in a bit. I'll get you a, a tour of the hotel. So I stopped at Starbucks to get a lemonade and look at the size of this straw.
That's like a... That's not a straw, that's a so pipe. So I get these at the Healthy Options health food store in the mall. Uh, this is uh, Zevia. Um, and this is orange. I also like the grape, and I have some of the black cherry. But it really helps with the soda craving, and it's basically just... Um, it has zero calories... Uh, it has a little bit of orange flavoring, uh, carbonated water, and then stevia, natural sweetener. So it's the ingredients, carbonated water, citric acid, natural flavors, and stevia leaf extract. So, I don't know. Uh, there's no caffeine, no artificial sweetener, and it's really helped me, uh, get off of the, get off of the diet soda, uh, addiction. So... Something that's worked for me. And then here's tonight's dinner. We have the turkey club sandwich and I'm very happy that they did not give me a lot of fries. So a very small amount of fries. So within my calorie budget for the day. All right, Pop, I thought I'd give you a room tour here at the Westin. Uh, there's the front door and there's the table. And then there's a refrigerator in here. There's the TV. And uh, it's like a little living room out here. I guess they call this a suite. And uh, out here is... <clears throat> We're up on the uh, 28th floor. And say hello to the Manila skyline here at 9 o'clock in the morning. And... So there's, this is the living room. And then the bedroom. I have this area in here. It's got the safe, drawers, places to put stuff. And here's the bed. Uh, TV. I always put my slippers out. And then in here, there's a really nice uh, walk-in shower. You got the rain shower head and the wand, place to sit, bathtub. And uh, you'll like this pop. This is the most poorly installed bathtub you've ever seen. Look at the giant silicone joint up here and then look at the edge so here we're lined up with the marble and then whoopsie look how much bigger that gets so it's almost like either the hole wasn't built for the right tub or the right tub wasn't ordered for the hole um, and there's a lot of things like that for a hotel, it's, it's not even a year old. You know, they've got gaps in the glass like this. Um, whatever Marriott paid to build this place, I would be looking to get a refund. And then here we have a half bath connected to the living room with a little corner sink. And uh, so that's the room tour that I've been staying at for three weeks uh, here at the Westin in Manila. It's, uh, it's a nice place, the people are nice, but it's, a, it's an urban hotel. It's not as nice as where I usually stay, but this way I'll be able to get Marriott points that I can use for free anywhere, including the US. So that's nice. If anybody needs a hotel, I can make that happen at no cost. So that's the room tour, guys. Love you and miss you. Hello, mom and dad and everybody. Last night in Manila. Tomorrow I'll fly to Cebu for some vacation, some R&R. &R. And I'm just making one final trip here to the Shangri-La Mall. And my favorite store, the Healthy Options Health Food Store. 
I got some protein bars and uh, some uh, healthy soda that they sell and uh, some snacks, some almonds. They're great in there. They have kind of everything. It sort of reminds me, if you remember, it reminds me of that, uh, that health food store in Dayton, in uh, Miamisburg out by the Dayton Mall. What was that called? They used to advertise on the radio station. Health Foods Unlimited, I think is what it was called. They kind of had everything. It sort of reminds me of. And it's, it's not cheap, but good quality snacks. You can just, you know, take to work or have in the hotel. And, uh, I have, uh, enjoy my time here but you know three weeks is three weeks fighting the traffic working the graveyard so I uh, I slept was up all night went to sleep around 12 30 got up around five so I had four and a half hours of sleep the idea is anyway to hopefully um, be able to switch back to sleeping at night. So I'm forcing myself to stay awake and then I'll go to sleep tonight. And then it's a, uh, it's like a two o'clock flight. So what I'll probably do is I'll have the hotel take me to the airport about 10. That'll give me... Hello. That'll give me plenty of time to uh, get there, get checked in, and uh, have a whole bunch of time to kill. But better to be killing time in the airport, at the airport gate, or in the airport lounge. They have a uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. I think it must be, uh, oh, it's a raffle. Those are really nice. Toyotas are about what everybody drives here. Got a big red bow on it. All right, we're going back to the room. I'm on the 28th floor. Let's go. All right. A lot of uh, marble, kind of fancy up here. So it's a high-rise hotel, so that's one end, that's the other end, and that's the other end. So, lots of floors, not very many uh, rooms per floor. So what I like about this room is that I'm in here is the... Uh, street is out there. The hallway's on this side. The hallway's on the other side. And then behind me is a stairwell. And then you see the other hallway over there. So what that does is means that there's nobody next to me. And they have cleaned my room.
Good day, ma'am, sir. Yes. So, the room is clean. And, uh, they always make the bed up nice. bathroom the bathroom has this nice pocket door that's real nice but it's just me so I don't close it so now I have to pack and we've got dirty laundry I've got one small carry-on suitcase and a big suitcase in that backpack this has all the junk in it. So, um, the car to the airport will leave tomorrow morning. So, we are out of here. Three weeks, something like 22 nights here at the Westin in Manila. Love you and miss you guys.